Okay, this is homework help for Math 3, Unit 5, Worksheet 4, and I'm going to start with question number 1. So for number 1, we want to simplify if possible and assume all variables represent positive real numbers. So I want to distribute, so I need to multiply the 3 to both the 5 and also to the 4 root 2. So 3 times 5 is 15. And then when I multiply these together, I'm multiplying 3 with the negative 4 root 2. And so 3 would only multiply with the 4 because those are both rational numbers, right? Because 3 times 4. So that would be negative 12. And there's no square root over here to multiply here, so it would say square root of 2. So 3 times negative 4 is negative 12, and then the square root of 2. And so now I want to multiply the negative 6 root 2 to the 5 and to the 4 root 2. So here when I multiply this with 5, it's the 6 and the 5 that will multiply together. So negative 6 times 5 is negative 30 and then square root of 2. So when I multiply those together, 5 times negative 6 is negative 30 and the square root of 2 stays the same. Now when I multiply these two together, I'm multiplying the negative 6 with the negative 4, which is positive 24. And then I'm multiplying the square root of 2 with the square root of 2, which would be the square root of 4. Okay. So that's different than adding, right? So when we're multiplying, we multiply everything. So the 6 and the 4 multiply together, and the roots multiply together. Then I can go ahead and combine my terms here. So negative 12 and negative 30. And then because I'm adding, I do not combine the square roots. So when you're adding or subtracting, you do not combine the square roots and they must be the same. But multiplying is different. With multiplying, we actually multiply the radicals, right? Different rules. And so here, square root of 4 is the same as 2. So 24 times 2 is 48. And then combine 15 and 48, which are your rational numbers. So 48 plus 15. And then 42 square root of 2. And then these do not combine because that has a square root of 2 and that does not. And then let's take a look at question number 7. So when you have a squared, that means you have two of exactly the same. So I'm just going to write this twice. So squared, I have two of exactly the same, and then I want to distribute. So I'm going to multiply the square root of 3 to both of these terms over here. So square root of 3 times the square root of 3 is the square root of 9. And then the square root of 3 times the square root of 7 is the square root of 21. Right? They don't have to be the same when we're multiplying. And then now I multiply the root 7 to both of these over here. So square root of 3 times square root of 7. And then square root of 7 times the square root of 7. So the square root of 9 is 3, and then I can combine these because they're both 21. So I'm going to put an implied 1 in front. So when I'm adding radicals, they have to have the same square root, and then I add the coefficient. So 1 plus 1 is 2, and then the 21 stays the same. And then the square root of 49 is 7. And then when I, once I get to here, I look to see what I can combine. So I can always combine my integers. So 3 plus 7 is 10. And then 2 square root of 21 has nothing to combine. And so that would be my answer. And that's it for the homework help on 4.